Hello friends. <clears throat> In this video, we are going to discuss how to integrate AWS Lambda with Amazon SQS Queue. So we are going to write a Lambda function in .NET in Visual Studio. Uh, once we complete that Lambda function in Visual Studio, we will publish that Lambda function to AWS Lambda. And we will create an Amazon SQS Queue and we will integrate that SQS Queue with the Lambda function. <clears throat> and whenever a message is inserted, the Lambda function will trigger and it is going to process that message. So a Amazon SQS is a simple queue service which is mainly used to decouple the applications. Like for example, if a user uploads a file, the processing of the file will take time. But instead of making the user to wait until the file gets processed, we can send a message like we can display a message to the user like the file has been uploaded successfully and it will be processed and notified once it its processing is completed. Like that, we can <clears throat> send a message to the user. And in the background, what we can do is we can use the concept of <clears throat> Amazon SQS, simple queue service. So in the code, what we can do is after <clears throat> uploading the file, we can just place a message in the queue. And the Lambda function will take that message. It will process that file and it will uh, this and it will <clears throat> once the file is processed, the user can, then the user uh, we can notify the user that the file is processed. So in this way, we can make the user to not wait until the file gets processed. So mainly used to decouple the applications. We use SQS. So this is the background of SQS. Now let us quickly jump to our video and start the lab that we are going to do. So I have Visual Studio open in my machine. So this is Visual Studio 2022. So I'm <clears throat> clicking on create new project. So we are going to create a new project. So I'm choosing the template here, AWS Lambda project .NET Core. And here I'm giving the name as AWS Lambda SQS with SQS trigger because this will be triggered by SQS. Now I'm clicking on create button. So here in the blueprint, we will choose this simple SQS function. In the previous videos, we have taken this as the blueprint. We have chosen this and we did from the scratch. Now in this uh, video, in this for this project, we will choose this simple SQS function. So a project for responding to SQS event notifications. So we will choose this and let me click on finish. Now it is going to create a project. And if we open <clears throat> here in this project, we have a file called function.cs. And if you open that file in the function.cs, this is the file function.cs. Let me open this. See, if you open this file here, we can see uh, we will receive the SQS event <clears throat> as an input to this function. So if you read the summary, this method is called for every Lambda invocation. And this method takes an SQS event object and can be used to respond to SQS messages. So it will take the SQS event object as the input and it is calling internally the process message async. So here we can actually do the actual logic to process this message like as we discussed if suppose for you user uploaded as file, <clears throat> we can send a message to SQS queue uh, by giving the file details like that. So, so here it will process the message. And here if you observe, it is logging this message. So we can see this log information in Amazon CloudWatch. So, and from that we can confirm that this function has been triggered successfully. Now we have completed the creation of the Lambda function. Just right click and we are going to publish it to AWS Lambda. Publish to AWS Lambda. <clears throat> now it is going to connect our AWS account and choose the profile and the region. So if you want to know how to connect to AWS account from Visual Studio, you can just go through that video. Again, just right, right click and let me again click on this publish. 
so here mm, we can if yeah as i as i mentioned you can just go through the previous video on how to connect to AWS account from visual studio so as we have already connected it is to uh, showing the profile and the region and the dotnet runtime here let us give the function name as lambda sqs test like that something so the description if you want we can give this is to test sqs and trigger lambda and the other settings we will we can leave as is default and click on next and in the next window we need to choose the role we need to have the role uh, we need to choose the role which has permissions to write to the uh, to write to the amazon cloudwatch logs <clears throat> like for example in the drop down so here because we we are going to confirm that this, this function has executed successfully by checking the logs so we should have that permission to write logs to the cloudwatch so lambda execute sqs we need permissions to read messages from sqs and write logs so if you observe if you see here aws lambda sqs queue here this has permissions like if you see provide receive provides receive message delete message and read attribute and access to sqs queues and write permissions to cloudwatch logs so we need all these permissions because we need to write to the cloudwatch logs and also we should read the messages so let us choose this role and click on upload now this is going to upload this to our aws lambda so let me go to the management console here if you see lambda we should have that function once that gets published successfully so i uh, let us check the visual studio it is still publishing uploading the function so please wait while we upload the function to aws lambda so just just wait now if you go to the lambda we have only one function here in the functions once uh, this gets published successfully we should see the other function as well so just let us wait right now if you see that it has published successfully now if you see and if we refresh we should see the other function yeah this just we have published it 11 seconds ago so let me open this function and before that we should create amazon sqs queue let me duplicate this window and here from the services we will go to the sqs if you don't find SQS simple queue service here we have if you don't find it here you can search here in the search window uh, as simple queue service so let us create a queue so if you observe amazon SQS provides queue for high throughput systems system messaging so here they have provide the description you can just go through it and we have generally two types of queues fee for first in first out and standard so for this demo let us click uh, let us choose the standard queue and provide the queue name as my uh, queue to test lambda something like that just give you any name and we will keep all the settings as default we don't uh, uh, change any of the settings let me click on create queue so here we need the ARN of the queue. Let me go here. Let me go to the configuration. Yeah, here we need to, we, we need this ARN of the queue because we need it to integrate it with the Lambda function. So in the configuration, in the triggers, we can click on add trigger. And in the trigger configuration, we can choose the source as SQS. Just search for SQS here. And the, here we need the ARN. That's why we have copied it there. Otherwise, we can uh, select directly Q to test Lambda. And batch size is number of messages that it can process at a time. So we, we will leave all these settings as is and click on Add. 
now here we have just created a queue and integrated with AWS Lambda now we are going to test so we will uh, push a message to the queue and we will check if our Lambda function is triggered by pushing a messages to the queue or not so let me go here and also we have provided the permissions that also you can verify if you go to the permissions tab so CloudWatch logs we have the permission to create log group and put the event log events and also we should have permissions to uh, read receive message delete message and get queue attributes so we have the required permissions to access the CloudWatch logs and to access the Amazon SQS queue so let us go to the SQS queue and click on send and receive messages so let us publish a message publishing my first message So let us publish publishing my first message. So I have published. Now I'm going to publish. Now this should trigger the Lambda function. So how we can verify? So if we go here, we go to the monitor in the cloud formation. We should see the logs with that message because in the code we are writing to the logs. So you should see this message and it will confirm that our lambda function has published successfully so we are going to the log group see now that this has it has created this log group uh, with the lambda function name lambda sqs test if you go here see publishing publishing my first see publishing my first message which confirms that our message is processed successfully from the queue. Let us test another again. Publishing second message, my second message. So just click. Now, if you go to the CloudWatch and just refresh, we should see the second message. Retry. My second message so this confirms that our lambda function is triggered successfully whenever I publish message to the sqs queue in this way we can integrate the lambda function with the sqs queue thank you friends thank you so much